name is Gordon Cousins, Chief Executive of Business Today in South Africa and Chairman of the Business Today Group. Business Today was started 29 years ago and now is represented in more than 42 countries around the world. What we do is we build board-based business simulations as a basis for teaching people to truly understand their business and how changing their behavior can make a positive impact on the performance of their business. Transnet Freight Rail is the only freight rail business in South Africa. It employs upwards of 20,000 people. Some years ago, we were asked by the chief executive to develop a business simulation for the freight rail industry. The major reason was that the business was wanting to move towards a more customer-focused and bottom line focused organization. The net result was that we built a series of business simulations that allowed people to, in simulation mode, run a railway and how they could positively impact on the business by moving towards the concept of a scheduled railway. Railways are very complicated businesses and it's essential that people at all levels in the business understand how the business works and functions. I think sometimes we forget why we exist. We're here to meet the needs of customers. So business simulation has allowed us to, in a risk-free environment, to enable people to understand how all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle fit together. We did it in two distinct interventions. There was the one for the senior management. The benefit from that one was that, you know, you could simulate a couple of years and you could see the impact of your decisions on, the, on investments, buying new assets, new locomotives or new wagons and what is it doing to the balance sheet and what is it doing to, your, to the bottom line. What you're going to be working with today is understanding all of the different elements of the railway and how they hang together. So it's balancing your people requirements, your rolling stock, your maintenance condition of the infrastructure and of the rolling stock. All of these pieces hang together and if you execute them properly are going to deliver financial performance. If we get them wrong, then we're going to have some serious financial failure. As I told you, you're going to be in a competitive environment in this situation. As you are in reality, not necessarily competing with other freight railways, but competing with road traffic for a competitive offering to the client. The approach was to let them experience the importance of a fixed cost business. You've got to pay all the bills every month, whether you run one train or 100 trains. You've got to experience the impact of running with a plan in a scheduled fashion or without. And we could actually prove to them that if you stick to the plan and the schedule that's given to you, you can do more with less. You can run more tons with less assets. And then finally, you know, the teams had to see, but you know, my little contribution towards signal maintenance or my contribution to the track maintenance or to the locomotive maintenance is very, very important for asset utilization, for running more business, for lower unit cost, for um, asset utilization, etc., etc. Guys, when we looked at your income statement, we could see that your profitability was actually not that great. And I think we just need to understand from your key performance indicators what went wrong. If we look at your local utilization, it's right down at 26%. That means that your locos are hauling loads 26% of the time. The rest of the time, they're either hauling empties or standing. The feedback we got afterwards consistently was very positive from all the participants. And, and the, 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 the suggestions that we, that we received were, were all, how can we improve? So you've got to discover for yourself. One of the lessons learned from the simulation was that you get people involved, you can't get them away at the tea breaks. They get so involved in the simulation, they get so excited and, and worked up and there's a competition spirit between the different groups participating. You know what I realised uh, is actually how important my job really is. It's really, very, really, very successful. And it kills many myths. You know, this thing runs till as far as you can go. Uh, you can ultimately see that that's the wrong way. The plan is actually better. Stick to the plan. They understood the value that they contributed and how the decisions that they made actually impacted on the, on the bottom line. It doesn't matter where you are in the railway. You all have different parts to play. And this simulation has allowed people 
to understand much better than they ever did before where they fit it in. I'm also sure that this is a long-term investment where we will reap the benefits as we go forward. This is not a do today and, and see tomorrow. Certainly beginning to see the impact from the business simulation process and changes in the way people think uh, in running this business. So as you've heard, business simulation training can make a significant impact on the way your people behave and therefore the performance of your organization. In Business Today, we believe that every business is to some extent different from every other business. And therefore, we believe in modification or customization of simulations to suit your specific needs. What has been done in the rail industry has also been done in more than a hundred other industries and companies across the world. Our belief is that the only reason that you should be training is in order to improve business performance. Now we need to understand that in order to improve business performance, you have to change behavior. Chalk and talk, telling people, generally does not change behavior. Therefore, the power rests in the process of discovery learning. You can, by the use of business simulations, improve the performance of your people and the performance of your organization.